here, welcome to LW Kitchen, and this is the first one of our cookery videos that we're going to do today. And all these cookery videos are going to be based on my really old collection of cookery books. The one that I really remember is the All Hamlin Colour Cookbook, and it was one that I grew up with um, in the 60s. The photographs, I have to say, are probably a bit dated, um, but the recipes are fantastic, and it had consultants like Mary Berry working on it, along with many other very um, talented cooks and chefs. First recipe is going to be something from that book, but I've modernised it, and it's chicken with pineapple which is a bit of a classic thing and a really, really easy thing to make. You need pineapple for this and you can either use canned pineapple, I love cooking from the store cupboard, um, or you could use fresh pineapple. So let's have a look in this bowl here. You want to peel your pineapple, cut it into wedges, throw it into a bowl with um, some honey, and also some orange juice and these flaky bits here are a little bit of dried chilli which you can have in your, you know, your store cupboard. You then want to get a pan hot. If you've got a griddle pan that's really nice because you make pretty little lines. If you haven't got a griddle pan really it doesn't matter. Alright? Um, and what I love about these recipes is the fact that they're really simple but they're really delicious. You could put a little bit of oil in there if you wanted to, but if it's a, a good non-stick pan, you shouldn't need to worry. What you do want to do, though, is just to save that honey and orange. I've got about a couple of tablespoons of honey and the juice of two oranges there and one, big, uh, one sort of medium-sized pineapple chopped up. If you're a vegetarian, you could serve this with pan-fried halloumi, which would be really, really good. Or if you've got chicken, leftover roast chicken, um, which I've got here, that is really, really good to use. So, you know, you, if you've, you've done a roast chicken the day before and you've got some leftover, or maybe you've got a bit of smoked chicken that you can use, just chop it up really, really small, and then stick it into a bowl here. You're getting all these shots, Tim. This is very good. <laughs> Okay, so cold chicken going in there. And what else are we gonna stick in? Oh, some um, spring onions. Just some chopped spring onions. And, oh, I was gonna put in some cashew nuts. We might have to stop. Oh dear, I've burnt them. <laughs> that, is, <laughs> that really isn't a good start, is it? Let's hope I haven't burnt these ones. Here's some. I coloured already. So little cashew nuts, just roast them off in a hot oven for a few minutes. Um, and what we're going to do now is go back to that pineapple that's in the pan. I'm just going to turn it over and hopefully it's gone a really nice colour. Let's hope I haven't burnt this as well. And I'm going to make the chicken and spring onion sambal, which is like a kind of a salad really. Cashew nuts, which I've got here. Just sprinkle them in, and I'm also going to add rapeseed oil, not olive oil, with the pineapple. I'm going to add a squeeze of lime going in. Just give it a good old squeeze with your fingers, looking good and smelling good. Toss that together with your hands, so you've got cashews, spring onions, chicken, lots of fresh coriander. Don't over chop the coriander all right just run your knife for it a few times don't chop it so it's like dust otherwise you lose all the taste that juice that you saved which was the honey the orange and the chili is going to go into the pan so it goes all nice and sizzly in that pan and that's going to reduce down and while that's reducing down and it will get really hot, so be careful that you don't burn it, you're going to take out your pineapple and you're just going to put the pineapple onto a big serving dish, a big platter, or you could, if you want to be snazzy, you can plate it up individually if you want to, like that. Just so that it cools a little bit before you put that chicken salad on it. And now it's really starting to reduce. So just Keep that on the heat like that. And then take this gorgeous 
chicken with coriander and cashew nuts. Pick it up with your hands and put it onto your pineapple. So the final thing we're gonna do now is just take that bubbling syrup and we're gonna lift it up like that and we're just gonna pour it over the top. Look at that. Just drizzle that all over that lovely syrup, all over the top like that. It's a classic and the reason it's a classic is the fact that chicken and pineapple just taste so good together. Try it.